Here we see Marty on extended arms, supporting his weight while turning his head to follow the toy. With increased weight bearing on extended arms, Marty has developed increased extension down to the lumbar spine and hips. This also brings his lower extremities into a strong, extended position. Prone pivoting in an attempt to obtain a toy is also seen. In this maneuver, Marty demonstrates disassociated movement of both the upper and lower extremities, which aids in right-left stability and control. Increased scapula humeral disassociation is evident in weight bearing and weight shifting. The quick and immediate use of reach and grasp upon presentation of an object allows for many opportunities to improve control and coordination of both the shoulder and hand. Marty participates in varied played schemes of banging, turning, mouthing, transferring, and repeating sensory motor exploration with his hands. Marty also demonstrates a palmer grasp with increased digital participation, including thumb abduction and extension. By six months, the prone position is typically chosen for play due to greater head, shoulder, and trunk control. Here we see that Owen is still greatly challenged when prone. He demonstrates lower extremity kicking, but does not possess the stability required for upper extremity play. Owen still positions his elbows behind his shoulders, making it very difficult for him to use his upper extremities to assist in head and trunk lifting. Without adequate stability, Owen is unable to use his vision or hands to explore his environment. 